and we're not ready. <laughs> so this is what it's going to be today, folks. When my co-host gets in here, she'll do the proper introduction. I am uh, not struggling, but I ain't really, I ain't really with it today. So had a long day. It's been a long weekend, and uh, we just gonna see where this this show takes us. Um, I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, my co-host Tanj has been celebrating her birthday this weekend, so hey, mom. Um, so this is where we are right now. She is preparing herself. So yeah, no, we usually do the shake and enjoy portion of the show where we have cocktails, and I know I put a cocktail up there, um, a bourbon cocktail, but we will not be having that today because I don't think my organs can take any more alcohol this week, this weekend. So that's where we are. Um, she is doing something with ice, but um, yeah. So in the meantime, in between time, um, I will make a brief announcement. Um, the cocktail tasting that I've planned for Shake and Enjoy will happen on July 16th. Um, so you'll be able to taste some of the cocktails from the book. You'll be able to get your book signed. If you already purchased one, there will also be books for sale at the event. It's going to be a day event, three hours, because I'm old and I like to go home. So this is my co-host here. Boy, did we have a time last night. <laughs> listen, I see she brought a picture of water. Listen, this is dedication to the perfect pair, baby. Hey, uh, what's going on? It's, it's hey. a day. <laughs> it's a day. It's a day. Boy, did we have a time last right. night. It's a lot going on. Y'all don't even know. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, but y'all don't even know. About. Listen here. Hey, y'all. I just said that about five times. Listen, because we here. Yeah. We are here. Yeah. We are excited. Yeah, we are. Excited. We are feeling a certain type of way. Yeah. Y'all listen, we yeah. we not beat to the gods. No, nope, you not even you get in. Listen, Wasim saw it all. Listen, Wasim was listen. in the place to be. <laughs> listen, why I didn't even call her because when I say I was hanging on to my bed so so strong, we we gotta wake up. I was hanging on. Like I kept saying, is it Sunday? I kept saying, is it Sunday? Sun was touching my eyes this morning <laughs> when I woke up and I touched it. it was an eyelash. I was, I was like, like is it Sunday? I kept saying, is it Sunday? And um, I found a few ways to get confirmation. <laughs> I went to see if there was a new episode of P Valley. I was like, yep, it's Sunday. So I don't have the days mixed up. I do have to do this today. So yeah, that's where yeah. But things saw it was just tragedy where the judge gave you one to three. <laughs> but yes, it was I had oh, <laughs> I had so much fun. This should be like now, he put he put it out there, but when I saw the pictures this morning, I was like, somebody don't look like they stand. What pictures this morning? You ain't seen no pictures? Yes, I did. Oh, oh, I sent you pictures. You got to get with your friend. You got to get with your circle. Was it on Facebook? No, it was on TikTok. Not TikTok. It was on uh, Instagram. What? I was in it. Yeah, you was in Because I didn't post any pictures last night. I was in an unpostable state. I saw the pictures. I said, who? What? Yeah. Did, they, did I look bad in the pictures? It ain't look bad, but you wasn't you. Oh man, I got to go because the friends know some it's just not supposed to be seen. No, I think it's it might be 
started. Maybe just because we friends, maybe that's why oh. I got it. All I know is people was looking at me funny when they saw me walking to my car with my party clothes on this morning. <laughs> Cars driving back like it's early. I know she ain't wearing it at the church. Uh, just trying to get home. I'm, Thank just, you. I'm just, just, just trying to just, do the best I can. That's just all I'm trying, trying to do. Trying to get home. Jesus, so, yeah. I got stuff to do. Came home, went to Wendy's. They ain't even had no ice. When the pop, didn't have no ice? The pop was flat. I ain't even had no pop today. I could drink a ginger beer. That may be kind of good. Have you had it by yourself before? I don't drink ginger beer by itself. But I have informed you all that because of the shenanigans this weekend, I wasn't even with her. And I know, I know that I drank too much. So we have water. It wasn't a walk of shame. No. It was just the walk like, with my same clothes on. <laughs> I did what I came to do. Listen, <laughs> I, was, I was fabulous. I had the time of my life. But I am going to say this whole weekend has been wonderful. I, I, I'm i doing something right in life. Because I figure I got to be doing something right with the circle of friends that I have. I have some of the greatest friends and family that anybody can have. So I think, shit, that I means I'm doing right if I got these good people in my circle. That's exactly what it is. Two whole days. People have been taking care of me, making sure everything was good. We had a fabulous dinner at Joe Muir's Friday. Like, it was an intimate circle, my circle. It was I, I had don't a know. good time. It, like, it feels like we had a straggler in there. But we did okay. have it. We had. We opened it up. Opened it up to a complete stranger. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like no people. <laughs> but the <laughs> but the stranger was the stranger was good. It, he was, he's it not was a stranger. Crazy. He's he was, my friend. But it was, you know. it was cool. It's just these are jokes, people. I mean, God. That's what we did. I know. I missed you last night, Celeste. I I know. I heard. I heard Friday, but I missed you last night. Oh wait! After last night, this should be the very first show we show y'all do because I see both of y'all. Listen, Listen here. The you drinks can... already kicked in, That's and now we trying to drown. And, and we got this. I ain't even put it in the pretty picture today. Usually, I like to use the pretty know. stuff. It, mm. it might get messy. <laughs> so yeah. So like I said. This is the shake and enjoy portion. Drink your water. It's been hot outside. Hydrate. <laughs> Make sure you're getting the amount of water you should be getting in your life. She was trying to text somebody. I don't have nothing else to say. Um, Give me one second. I'll keep going. I, um, I informed you all that there will be a cocktail tasting and book signing on July 16th. Mm. I will send out the information on the 1st of July. And um, yeah, in other news, um, we are proud to say that we have made a decision about this here show mm -hmm. starting today. <laughs> we will be moving to bi-weekly shows. So where you all have, you know, loved on us and been here every week with us, we have decided that we're going to space it out a little bit. To give ourselves some time to just be and you know have more times you know because we got to have more memories and but when you got to wake up sunday morning to get ready for the show in the afternoon sometimes we getting cut short so in fact today we will be moving to every other week so you will see us in two weeks following today because boy did we have a time this weekend Listen. Oh, let me, I do have to say this because I think I was gonna start saying it about my friends, and I had lost my train of thought. Yesterday was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Went to duo, had a good time, and I had made a pact with my friends like a while ago, and I said, if it's ever to the point and we get somewhere, and I am out of character, mm -hmm. I need you to pull me to the side and tell me because I never want to look crazy. Uh -huh. But it was my birthday, so I got a little extra grace. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I had one of my dear friends, Shantae. She said, can you walk with me, please? Like, oh, here's Shantae can say, oh, you know. Sean, let's take a walk. 
teach. So we walked and she said, remember we had that talk? Well, I think it's time for you to drink some water and have a seat. And I said, fine then. And I came and sat down and started pouting. And then I was pointing to my pout so people see that I was pouting. <laughs> Celeste, why you didn't help her? Then wait, because Celeste kept coming. Wait a minute. I had all my people. I didn't even know they was watching me the way they was watching me. She kind of, uh, you, you got some water. You good. I need you to just sit down. Then I start complaining to a friend, and I'm like, they done took my drinks. I said, somebody drinking my drinks. He said, I took them. You don't need no more to drink. Go have a seat. I said, everybody is taking up on me. Well, according to the pack, you you initiated the shit. So, but I said, listen. They every just, time damn. they told me to sit down, I sat down. Now I may have forgot I was supposed to be sitting down and kept standing up. They just doing what friends do. You, I didn't you put them. You put them under contract. They and they they fulfill their duties as friends. They put them under contract. I kept sitting down and I kept drinking water. I was trying to sneak some drinks, but it wasn't what successful. Was I was drinking the big peach, a giant peach. This is a vodka drink. And when I got to the party, it was already drinks sitting on the table waiting for me. They said, we know this is your favorite, so we just decided to start getting it for you. So I just was going and going, and we had to eat, Jesus. And I just was taking pictures with everybody. I was hugging on everybody, just loving on everybody. I'm it was so, a funky good time. I'm so glad you all were there. I bought in 42. Smiling. I want y'all to know I'm so glad you all were there. 42 is still bad. I'm so glad you all were there. So today, yeah. we recovered. Today is water day. Today is water day. I don't have plans for today. And if possible, I would love to just sit. I may pull out the pool today. It's going to be hot. It was like it's warm, but I don't know if it's pool warm. No. Don't pull it out. It's don't only pull out 86. the pool. No, it's only 86. Uh, I wouldn't shoot for that pool until Thursday. What's Thursday? 94. Mm. Awesome. So, mm. yeah. Thursday pool party over here. All right. The She's Press edition. I got on She's Press. She's on the nails. <laughs> I was trying to take them off, but this is such good glue. It won't come off because I wanted to change my nails for my birthday. Okay. But it's only been like a week and they're not loosening up. So, I'm going to be wearing these for a while. Uh... <laughs> Let's say I'll be fresh. My pool is is so much fun. If we, we, had, if we had a slip and slide, I would I don't think I would do it today. Um my stomach might flip over my dang on heart if I do anything extra today. So fill her up. Yeah. So that's where we are, folks. Any, okay, so let's talk about what's new in the news. They didn't got the birthday edition. All they that got the birthday updates. Yes, that's what it's called. Birthday updates. Got the birthday updates. You all have been watching the news. <laughs> this sucks. When you, sucks. Because we, we just want to do the right thing. But so you all know that the Supreme Court of the United States has decided to control our uterus. Man, just decided to control mine. I fixed that mailbox so I ain't messed with. But for everybody else, I do feel a way because um you know, it's the it's the it's the real mundane thing. Are you okay? No, it's, yeah. it's dripping out. I don't think so. Oh, they have decided to um, overturn um, Roe v. Wade, which was which gave women the constitutional right to have an abortion, and now they've left it in the state's hands to determine what what your state allows. So. Michigan is still a state that allows abortion, but it could probably be on the ballot sometime soon. Um, Cause I know our governor was fighting for this earlier this year before all of this came out and um, our AG wasn't behind her. So we'll see what happens. Um, there, I have been listening to a lot of doctors in places where um, they have banned abortions and they really they feel really bad because they want to help women, um, you know. Because sometimes women just don't have abortions just because they don't want to have children. It's for health reasons, and um, 
you know, other re other reason how the baby was conceived. So it's just one of these things we live in a, in a country that makes laws based on what they want and not what the people want. So it's not a pure democracy and I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I still blame the people that did not vote in 2016 for all of this. I blame them for everything. So, yeah. What's your take? I think it's a bull um, because I, I believe in pro-choice. It is a woman's right to do with her body what she wants. I can see it being stipulations on, you know, the you time. can't. Yeah. You can't get an abortion at like four or five months. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you never know a woman's circumstance. You never know what predicament she's in. Um, I do not think men should be controlling what women do with their body. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm totally against this. If they're doing this to with Roe v. Wade, then who is to say we're not about to talk about the brown Versus the board. Yeah. Um, who's to say there was well, because of Clarence Thomas, they won't mess with loving versus was it Virginia? Loving versus somebody that um you can marry out your race. Yeah. But you know, his wife is white. So he probably won't mess with Right, that's why I say he won't mess with But that. I do feel like after the after the decision was made public, he did come out and said they need to start looking into um gay marriage. Yeah. So we just got that on the books. Like, come on. But once again, this they is the fault of the people that did not vote in 2016 because they did not want to vote for And you got to start voting at elections that's not just for the president. You got to vote for the people that's in the Senate, that's in the House, all that kind of stuff. Everything matters. Your attorney general of your state, your circuit court judges. You know, all your judges, they are elected officials. They don't yes. just show up there. True, Alby. And because after the census that just came out, white people are no longer the majority. So it's like, we got to keep this power because it's power in numbers. So that's that's a lot. Um, so <laughs> wait till he right, pass on, because he's not touching it. No, no, he's he not. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's safe to say that you can lie. You can lie in front of the Senate committee when you are being uh, confirmed for the Supreme Court. But if I was to lie on someone's trial, at someone's trial, I would go to jail for perjury. Mm -hmm. But all of these justices said that they would not touch Roe v. Wade because it had already been you know, in the law book, it had already been in, in the Constitution and there was no concern about it. But the vote was six to three. Six to three. Court only got nine justices on it. So only three people stood their ground while the other six um, swung the conservative way. So we just have to pay, pay attention to what's going on in our government. Me, on the other hand, I'm actually thinking about what does life look like outside of the United States? Mm -hmm. it's crazy. Because this is just, I mean, it's, it's the land for opportunities, but you really just got to do what they tell you to do around here. So that's the biggest thing that's happening this week. Um, mm -hmm. Anything in pop culture? Girl, I don't, I don't even know. Even All know. I know is Boy, that we have a time last night. We did. <laughs> we really did. Um, and I know I had a time because I know what time it was when I went to bed, when I finally shut my eyes. I did, too. It was and, late. Yeah, and it was late. And I only did it because I knew I had something to do mm -hmm. later on. So, yeah. Well... <laughs> I don't have nothing to say. I don't know nothing that's going on. Oh, in the world. yes, I do. I lied. What happened? Christopher Maurice Brown released Breezy on Friday. If you have uh, my birthday, I listened to if it. If you haven't had a chance, give it a good listen. You know, Chris Brown is here delivering the pop culture R and B. A why he a wide range of genres. Yeah. Like, yeah, he just can do some of everything. So, oh, yeah, Chris Brown. 
Oh, I do. I do like him. I, do like him. I want to go see him in concert, though. None of my friends want to go. Oh, I'm thinking about see. it. I will, I'm oh. thinking about it, but I, I think I've told you all before, I'm not going to see him here. Mm. I'm not going to say this, but I just be getting bored with the same scene here. Yeah. So I'll check them out when I can. I did watch the verses. Did you? I didn't watch it. Baby, let me tell you. I ain't cold. I'm cold. Mm. I got my ear on. Usually I'm hot. Damn, I'm freezing. <laughs> um, the verses were so good. Mar- it was terrible, but good. Mario still sound the same, and he looked good. He sound good. Oh, Marion thought eating the watermelon was going to get our panties wet and turn us on. It was the strangest thing ever. Him and his brother was eating a watermelon like it's supposed to be sexual. A watermelon? A watermelon. They had big slices of watermelon. I could I was just like, who's going to sexualize watermelon? It was terrible. Um, Omarion sounds so terrible. Really? Oh, my God. He should have used the voiceovers or something. What? And then he kept. He kept dancing. Baby, this is not a dance battle. To sing it. It was terrible. It was. I, I was embarrassed for him. Mario was going hard. He was calling him a, a little dancing nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Mario was going so hard, like walking up on him because he's like five feet taller than them. Like, and Omarion oh, was like, it's over. He was like, it ain't over till I say it's over. Bring that track back and he starts singing. And I'm like, so Mario can sing. He's so hood. Yes, he can Mario sing. Can sing. And so cute. I got a different respect for and him. And Omarion oh, can Cannot. Ray J sound like trash. Oh, Ray J was there too? Because it was like a pre-show, but I didn't watch it because when I turned it on, everybody was sounding terrible. Then Sammy, Pleasure P, and Bobby Valentino start singing One Wish because Ray J was sounding terrible. So they got harmony. Ray J was in his feelings about the harmony and about them singing his songs. Listen, it was a debacle. It was a debacle. Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't watch that. Um... I didn't watch that, and for everybody who hasn't watched P Valley already today, mm. I haven't turned on my TV. I'm gonna tell, really tell you, we wasn't ready for all that. Oh, I gotta watch. Was, we my, was my love? Did he have a scene? Um, what's the light skinned guy that was? Um, no, I love Diamond. Him. No, Diamond. But P Valley, we was not ready for all that. Oh, I gotta, I'm watching it after this. this it, that was a. Hey, we wasn't ready. I would maybe I don't know. I wasn't ready. So I think I'm coming back alive. <laughs> it's the water. It's the water. <laughs> it's the water. Nourishing my soul. <laughs> so yeah. So um yeah, that's that's all I had. That's all I got. This week. I'm ready to get into this topic, baby. It's too early. Can we get into the topic? Oprah is here. Oprah I, let, I didn't want I didn't let me tell you what <laughs> this word is. Let me just Fill me up one more time. I didn't drink all that that fast. I'm probably gonna have to take an intermission in a minute, but I am not with shits today. So today, today I am, I am excited about this show, y'all. I I think our guest is the most anticipated most guest anticipated. we've ever had. Listen. And if and if you watch the last show, we've been that we is. have been talking about this show all week. Because if you watch the last show we had, y'all know I invited her to the show while we was live. Okay, I no, I ain't never invited nobody right on the spot, but she is here with us today. Hey, and we, Jackie C. Is yeah. here as our special guest today. So oh. let's welcome her on oh, to the on, show. Girl. Let me figure she it gotta out. figure it out because I've never <laughs> ran that thing before. Hey, hey ladies. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Wait a minute, Michonne says she put Jackie on her calendar today. <laughs> Jackie, listen, you are the list, they're ready for you. 
They what is that? What is that? Let me even put up the top. If it isn't, look, what this okay, Jackie. Look, look, look. it's okay. It's gonna Wait, be it's not, it's a flag show. It was on you didn't read you didn't read no part of the promo, did you? The, they had a red flag yeah, on it. Yeah, it did. So what you talking about if it is that a was the title and then it said hold on. Let me go to the dang on. Thing. It was my birthday, y'all. <laughs> yeah, she let's forgive her because it was her birthday. So it's about it said recognizing the red flags. Right, that's what I'm saying. If it is in love, recognizing the red flags, so that's fine. That's what we about let's, to talk let's about. Go with, it. with Jackie. With Jackie. Are we saying it right? Because got the little we saying it right, Jackie. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, everybody, we want to welcome her, give you a little um background. Um my sister just texted me. Just text us. She's so excited about this. <laughs> so my sister watches it on her TV and she can't put up comments. comments. So okay. I'll be reading them. So, oh, go ahead. So Jackie, let's give the give the folks at home, let's give them a little um little bio, a little blurb about you first. Let's let us know who you are before we get into these questions. Hello, everyone. Um, again, my name is Jackie. Um um, I just recently transitioned into a new position as administration and school. I was a teacher, preschool teacher for 19 years. Congratulations. Um, I love the kids. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm a mother of two teens. My daughter just graduated from high school and my son will graduate next year. Okay. Um, I'm pretty what active in church. Where did she graduate from? She graduated from Warren Woods Enterprise High School. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not KS. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Just living life, having a good time, you know. All right. See, seeing red flags. Or have you ever seen some red flags, Jackie? Yes. the <laughs> 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 last red flag. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, married 13 years, red flags. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you, you were married before? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm always I'm always intrigued by people that. <laughs> so we got questions for Marty. Go start it off. She's taking it over today. So just gonna, just... I just want you to know, when you showed up on our last show, I was not expecting. Mm-hmm. Um, I was not expecting you. You totally threw both of us for a loop because we've never had that type of engagement with any of our guests. So I want you to know that we wanted to make sure you didn't feel attacked or that we, you know, we like to give everybody an opportunity to voice themselves on the show (laughs) and to just to get some um, conversation engagement with the people. So with that being said, did you all talk after the show? We did. Okay. All right. So are y'all a couple? Or Keep us lifted in prayer. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Oh, okay. All right, then. So with with him being lifted in prayer, <laughs> with him being lifted in prayer, I want to know, when he told you that he was going to be on the show, what did he say? What Did he tell you what the topic was going to be about? Yeah, he sent all the information over. Um, at first, I was hesitant about it, but you know, I wanted to support okay. and um, you know, just hear the background. You know, and again, I love being able to support Black women. You know, so that was huge as well. So yeah, you know. Okay, so because I was taken aback, I was <laughs> like, because the. With the things that he was saying, like with us not knowing you all's history, mm-hmm. it was, it caught us off guard. Like the first question you asked was, are you in a committed relationship? And it, it was, you know, he didn't really respond. Mm-hmm. So we're going to ask you a question. Are you in a committed relationship? Not at the moment. Okay. See, now we get somewhere. She's talking about now we get somewhere. Did you tell him about the show today? Yes, he knows. Is he watching? I'm not sure. He said he wasn't going to, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. That was one of the questions, too. Okay. Is he watching the show? Um, so, what, go ahead. I thought you were going to say something. Okay, mm-hmm. anyway. So, when we talk about red flags, mm-hmm. 
what what do you think how do you think women get kind of turned around with red flags like where do we go wrong or become misguided initially i just feel that and i'm saying this because i was young when i got married and it's a lot of things that i learned as i you know became a young adult and so a woman um, we get so excited on the outside of things, you know, and we really don't take the time to really get to know a person. So this season in my life, I just don't want to rush into a relationship. I feel like as women, we need to be able to ask those unco uncomfortable questions when we're dating, because like, what's the purpose? You know, are we, um, doing this to be intentional? Are you doing this just to have a friend, um, a, a, a buddy buddy, if you will? Like my intention is to date to be married again. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to know, lay the platform out right off the rip. You right. know, ask those questions. Are you dating? Are you seeing other people at the moment? What does that look like? What does it look like for us? So I just think we get caught up with the man and woman's first presentation to us okay. that, that it, and that's what we run with. You know, we got to dig deep, investigate, yeah. <laughs> you know, because this is our lives. So even when they tell us like what they want and then we have a question from the, uh, the audience, okay. um, I'm getting my words out. <laughs> I, I do apologize. Um, that just threw me off. What was I about to say? I don't know. I don't even know. Let's go to the, I, I apologize. I'll take these glasses off. I can't see. I don't have no lashes on, no makeup on today. This is it's all, all right. right. It's, it's all, right. all right. My question is about this, about this table. So you had just spoke about like when they tell you what they want, mm -hmm. but if they don't live up to what they say, that's considered a red flag. But when do you move on or when do you stop listening to what they say and take their actions for what they mean? I think that that's actually a good question because even myself had fallen short with that. We see the potential. Like, what are you doing now? Like, are your words aligning with your actions? And sometimes as women, we want to be in relationship and, you know, we want to say we have someone, but is their potential lining up? Okay. They're saying, okay, you know, I want to start a business, you know, this is what I want to do, but okay. I'm going to give you a little bit to show and prove, but if I don't see any efforts, then a conversation needs to be had. And, you know, as women, again, we feel like, oh, I want a man, I want a man. But if he's not living up to his potential and his standards that he's putting before us, then it's time to exit. He can look good, all of that, but it's time to exit. Okay. So, so now I'm about to get nosy. So in your last situation, was, <laughs> he, was he giving you actions with words or no? Um, I will say this. He, um, he's a great guy. He's a great father. He's a great son. Um, and I feel that, you know, there's a great deal of potential, but I also feel that mm -hmm. sometimes, um, when you haven't had the best example of what manhood looks like, mm -hmm. there tends to be a struggle. Okay. Um, when you, um, haven't had those manly, godly examples. Sometimes it's a struggle because, you know, and like I've shared before, you 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 want to be in relationship, um, but your actions need to show otherwise. And I'll say this, I'm not your mom. I can't teach, you know, I can help you in, in, to an extent, but that's something that you have to, you have to have a heart and you have to want to be in a relationship. Yeah, I think, um... To Jack, to your point, um, and I'm following up with what one of our viewers said, like at this age, women still dating potential and that's the problem. Yes. At, I'm 42 and, I, you know, I'm 42 years old. I don't date potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't date anything that's not sure about me. Like, so I continue to remain single and I stand firm on that. Mm -hmm. And I make sure that I'm communicating to men that that's not what we're doing. Because right. I know 
if I'm going to give somebody that title of being my man, there is no question. When I need something, he's there. When I want to do something, it's happening. Like, so me trying to figure out if you my man, it's not going to happen. I know what it look and feel like when mm -hmm. somebody is in my corner. And I, saw, I will say those comments that were made the last episode, I was just shocked because um, that those aren't conversations we've had. And, oh, so, um, but I gathered that, Jackie. I <laughs> gathered that from your comments. You were just like shocked by yeah. the tone and what was right. being presented. Right. So that's why I wanted to right. say at the beginning, we, we didn't we didn't want to come off as if we were attacking you. No. But it was like. You know why is she asking these questions right here? So I knew, I knew there was a dis I knew there was a disconnect somewhere. She wanted like you on TV and you up here acting like, oh, you single to marry, da da da. Well, let's talk about this now because you probably telling me one thing behind closed doors, but when you get on here and you talking to people, right, you giving a whole different story. So let's put it all out on the table. Yeah. And that's how I felt, you know, oh. and, um, you know, this is for me, that wasn't entertainment. You know, yeah. this is my real, my reality. And again, like I was married for 13 years. I encountered her, you know, and I felt yeah. like I was healed and I, I feel whole as a woman. I know who I am. So, you know, the door for dating, I felt comfortable introducing, you know, engaging in that. Yeah. Um. So, and, and again, this is serious to me because, you know, I'm a private person and, um, you know, I let you in my circle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hearing those things, it was very hurtful um, that they were being said because I felt like I was receiving two different men. Um, but yeah. Well, which one are you receiving now? Um, <laughs> the one that's like in, in wanting forgiveness. <laughs> okay. But what does this forgiveness mean? come with so forgive me for saying this and i want to make it a relationship or mm -hmm. forgive me for saying this and we just continue to be single till we marry um forgiveness and make it work okay, okay. well let's get to some questions because right. i i passed this one up it was about the um the table because it was gonna lead to that mm -hmm. uh hold on wait which way am i going all right so oh her question is so we have questions about this table. So remember, he spoke all, you know, come in and have a seat at my table. And this is, what she was the dinner good at the table? Like, why, what did he have to offer at his table? This is the thing. Y'all have to realize Dante is a character. He humorous. He funny. Sometimes I don't even know when a man is being serious because he's just he's just humorous by nature oh. so when he said that i was like is this a joke like for real like but honestly in all reality again he's a great man mm -hmm. um you know he brings uh you know his faith to the table you know i and i really like that he's self-sufficient i've never seen a man like handle business the way he does mm -hmm. so i will give him that um just um you know, just a good man, a guy, you know, he's very smart, educated, you know, he's consistent with work and all of that good stuff. Um, and he's a really good friend. You know, he's very loyal. I will say that about him. He's very loyal. Okay. Okay. Um, we're just talking okay. She said, hold on. I'm just gonna put it up here because I keep it's a long one. All right. So about this table that he spoke about, what was on the invitation to take a seat? <laughs> and did he actually say all those stipulations or were you as shocked as everyone else? I was shocked. Yeah, I was extremely shocked because like the conversations we have, you know, is, you know, working together, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, building something for the future, you know, merging our families together. Those are the conversations that he and I have had. So okay. I was extremely shocked. <laughs> um. Where are you? I'm right here. What about him coming to take a seat at your table? So when he was saying, because he listed things that he wanted his woman at his table to have, and you said, oh, I'm all of the above. Mm -hmm. So for your table, what, what does he check off? Because it sounds like you have a lot going for yourself. You talked mm -hmm. about, um, 
would you say you got your own place on um, car you just became an administrator so what are the things that you require for somebody to be seated seating um honest at this point in my life and i will not compromise uh if he is not a man of god it's a no for me okay. um he must be a man of god and he must serve god just because if i know he has an intimate relationship with god i know that he's fully capable of covering me and my family mm -hmm. and making the best decisions for our family so that um not so much like I would desire him to be financially stable, of course, but, you know, just being able to merge everything together um, and just being able to be friends, you know, being all of that, you know, together. You know, I just I desire stability. I desire consistency. You know, loyalty is huge. So, yeah. Okay. So I, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Because you said that he, you said that he is a good man and he does have this sense of humor i want to know did he let you know that he was he was going to be on the show entertaining because i find and it's just me jack yeah when i'm when i'm dealing with somebody i want you to be the same all the time so if you had if he had it came to me and said look i'm gonna be on this podcast i'm just gonna be joking around playing shooting the shit. okay bam then i'm not gonna be shocked when i see hear what you are saying on the show I'm not gonna be shocked but you 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 meet all these other criterion to be at my table but you hurt me in the same breath mm -hmm. so that you know and I'm I'm not here to tell you about your story but that that bothered me because it was like he kept saying we're gonna talk about that later and then he kept talking about we having some turbulence no we not we, right now we got communication problems mm -hmm. so you know i feel like us as women sometimes these red flags that we see like you said we get we want to be in a relationship and we want to put our faith in, in individuals like i don't want to give up i don't want to give up on black men i don't but at this point so much has happened even if somebody being 100 with me i'll be like he lying and that's what I struggle with, too, because, you know, being married for 13 years, you know, um, sometimes us as women, we put ourselves aside to accommodate. And that's a no, no. And I had to learn that the hard way. Mm -hmm. Like just because we're married, I'm still my own individual person. You know, my opinion matters. So when he said all of those things, I was just blown away. And like, you know, he, of course, he mentioned, you know, that I aired our personal business on the, the social media, but I had every right to. You sure did. Because, you, you sure know, did. this is, these are my feelings, you these know, and feelings? I feel like I didn't come off rude or disrespectful. They did were not? straight to the point questions to be answered. And for me, it just gave me clarity as a woman like you know what jackie maybe you need to fall back maybe you need to analyze yourself you know and uh realize like is this is this meant for you you know yeah. is this something that you could we want a man that hands down will say if the question was asked are you in a relationship that shouldn't have been a struggle at all that's a yes or no question now, that's Period. A flag. <laughs> so yes. this should not turbulence nothing it's no different from you being married if you say tangerine you in a relationship you're not going to struggle with that question i don't care if you having your marriage is rocky mm -hmm. your relationship rocky you hold it down mm -hmm. and i didn't get that yeah mm. so you know that was that's what i was having i was having the biggest problem with that and then um it's so many questions it going they on. come they so fire. Let's, let's, let's get, let's, let's get to I like the last question <laughs> i said i like the last question what she just put okay so if he's all these great things well where is the disconnect because did he tell you what his intentions were from day one yeah he did and and that was to get to know each other take it to the next level so we knew what the intentions were Mm -hmm. um again lack of communication you know um 
I, I guess it's the teacher in me, y'all. Like I, I love, I ask questions, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a detailed person and I'm not going to change who I am. If I want to know something and, and approaches everything, I don't come off nasty or rude, but like, why are we doing this? Like, yeah. What's the purpose behind this? Like, tell me, like, what made you get to this point? So, and then I would, you know, I I, I was told that um, I asked too many questions and um, I'm not your student. And it's not the case. This is my life. I'm deciding if I want to stay with yeah. you or not. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I have to ask the questions you because because right. now I'm in a position where do I believe what you, what you said to the world or do i believe what you tell me when it's just me and you in intimate settings what am i supposed to believe or am i supposed to ride down the fence on the middle and say oh maybe today he like this and maybe tomorrow he'll be like that not me you're not about to mess up my cooter cat with that so what we gonna do is establish what the truth is around here and that's what i'm gonna hold you to mm -hmm. so what else we got in from the audience uh Hold on, I because I'm I'm looking on two different things. What what you looking? No, because I can't go by what y'all see. Okay. I got to go by mine. Um, what did Michelle say? Jackie, have the two of you now established what relationshiping looks like moving forward? Yeah, like we still talk, you know. Um, and I, he asked for forgiveness. I forgave him. You know, people make mistakes, and he just has to understand. You know, you can't be on a social media platform as entertainment, you know, because this is somebody else's feelings. Um, you know, I forgive him, you know, and I do love him. Um, okay. We just have to, we just taking it really slow. Okay. His meat was, his table was all meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, did we already, we already what? did that one. About Celeste thing. So, okay, what did Albie Fresh say? Albie Fresh said, I think he invited you to the show to be a spectator. If the two of you do not have a confirmed relationship, we maybe should not have known that the two of you are dating. Also, he's trying to say, like, but no, Albie, she's saying in her, she was under the impression that they were in a relationship. We were. We, yeah. He was telling you guys something different. And again, you know, he made it clear that was entertainment, but you don't play like that. No. Nah. You do not. You don't. Okay, so, and then you're, you, okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> you with it? I'm with it now. Um, okay, he said exactly what he wanted. Okay, got you. Um, okay, so you had threw up a couple times about, um, a man of God and all this kind of stuff. And we know he does go to church. Do you think sometimes we get lost in a man going to church and speaking about the Bible and being an actual man of God? Yeah, of course. Okay. You know, and then that's the thing. Um, I'm big on faith. You know, I'm not perfect by far, y'all. I fall short all the time. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, again, that's a red flag for me because you say you in your word. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Like, are you leading by an example? Um, so you say you a man of God, but your actions are telling me otherwise. And and I'm again, I'm the type of person, if I'm feeling something, I'm thinking something, I let it be known. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not that I'm nagging him, but when you do see, when you're chosen, you're chosen. You know, and you just have to understand and would be willing to accept you can't you can't straddle the fence. Like people are watching. Yes. You know, the word of God says that we are to let our light shine so others will see our good deeds, you know. So you gotta fix this. <laughs> you know, if you say you a man of God, rock it out, be bold about it. You know, and, and that's and that's the struggle now with women. We do not feel confident following behind a man because they're struggling with leading. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, to that point, I think a lot of men in our community have not actually experienced leaders. You know, most, most men in our community, they grew up in single mother households. Mm -hmm. So you don't, they don't know what it looks like. They hear what it looks like 
but they have actually haven't seen the actions. Yeah. So when they think they're leading us, it's looking like, no, I literally told you what to do, and now we're just doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I feel too like when you're in a relationship, like again, like you said, men, there are a lot of men in our black community that has not had the role model of what a man looks like, what leadership looks like. Mm -hmm. So when you get into these relationships, and that's a good question to ask, like, like what's the time frame to like give them time to get it together? Mm -hmm. You know, like what does that look like? You know, are we mm -hmm. as women able to? You know, you know, be able to tell them, okay, sweetheart, this is what I like. This is what I need from you. Okay. Because I feel like if he says he's intentional about dating, about taking it to the next level, if this is serious, then it shouldn't be a struggle. Uh -huh. You that know, it, it should just naturally come and he should be like, you know what, this ain't really my thing, but you know what, let me give it a shot. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Because yeah. it shows that he cares, like 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 the man heard the woman's heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you had just mentioned time frame, and it made me think about. Um, I had put it up, but we didn't answer this. So, do you have a time period um, where Dante has to make up his mind? Um, honestly, we didn't discuss that. Um, I just feel like um, you know that's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, y'all, I've just been caught up in my feelings trying to keep it together. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah, that is okay. And you know what? I'm, uh, glad, you I'm glad you said that because sometimes our brains, our brains work a lot faster than our hearts do. Mm -hmm. Like your heart can want this man and care for this man, but your brain, like, hey, hey. I'm Sometimes we listen, here. we listen to our heart more than our brain. Yeah. Because we will have, and when we talk, we will have all the red flags there, mm -hmm. but our heart is telling us, oh, be forgiven, accept this, change this. And I think we look at stuff. A person really isn't going to change a lot then from who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we can't expect people to do a full, you know, 180 and change everything right. around about right. that. And we can't always just go with our heart and that go back to potential. I don't believe in potential. So you either go do it or you not. You already have it established. But when we are we 40 and up, it's no more room for potential. So all the stuff that you didn't went through in your past, not having role models, this, 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 by 40, you should have that worked out. Yeah. I can't yeah. even I, I feel like we plan. should have it worked out, but I also know that some people don't do the work. They don't. They don't do the work. And am I to hold them accountable for that? No, I just have to go what works best for me. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's just that's that's a sad reality that we are in right mm -hmm. now because I can say myself that the red flags don't mean anything to me because I I have this feeling in my in my being that. When my man shows up, I'm going to know him for who he is. So whatever I've been doing all this this time, it's not even going to matter anymore because I'm going to know in my mind, this is who God sent to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to act accordingly and he's going to act accordingly. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I don't even, I'm not even about to ask you what we doing here because if the good Lord ain't told me that that's who you are, you gonna keep being out here with everybody else at the door. It's a good one. Come on. Do you believe that women are in a race against time? <laughs> I'm in. An, I am in no rush. <laughs> Do you think other women are? Yeah, yeah. You know, just because you know we're getting older, the clock is ticking. You know, there's still women. You know, probably in their late thirties, early forties, still wanting families. You know that haven't had children yet but i am in no rush okay. you know because it's nice to be able to as a woman to embrace yourself get to know who you are you know and and find out what you like you know and and just embrace it mm -hmm. so no no time no time okay I if think it happens it happens i think women are usually in the race race against time because mm -hmm. i think you know, we like two weeks ago we kept hearing based on society, society standards, you know, a woman should be married in a relationship. So I think sometimes women do rush things. 
uh, and try to make them something that they're not. Mm -hmm. I took a singles class and it this just stuck out to me. And just because you're single, you still can be significant. You still can do whatever you need to do. And we're not to like chase after the man. And I wish a lot of women wouldn't do that. Like our job, we're to be pursued, you know, but whoever pursues us, like you, you're going to have to come correct. You know, we, we, we're too old for games. Like let's, what is it? What is it going to be? Look, and, and when we say we too old, we're not saying chronologically like the right. old women. What we're saying is by this time, you know what you're trying to do out here. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to marry me, say it. If you're just trying to hang out with me and go to dinner, say that too. Thank you. I got some restaurants you can take me to. Listen here. Listen, don't play with me. Thank you. Time. Speaking of time. Time is just too short for me to give you too much of mine. Mm -hmm. And it's for nothing. For yes. nothing at all. I'm just not. Yeah. So we, we, we got, got questions. We got two. Let me just Ooh, hit wait. Kyra and then Lorenzo. Kyra said, did you before the show ask God to show you a sign if Dante was the one to invest your time and attention into? Um, I did in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, when we first, you know, started talking. Um, because again, I was unsure about dating. Um, and letting someone in my circle and, um, the more he and I would converse over the phone and, you know, just getting to know one another, you know, I felt, I did feel a connection, you know, mm -hmm. with him and, um, I did pray about it. And, um, I mean, honestly, things were good, you know, things were good. Okay. What did Lorenzo say? Um, Lorenzo always writing everything on the Make a fat word comment, man. It's like, no, we like <laughs> So, I want to relationship and then no ironclad time points as much as far as marriage. Save doing the hoochie hoochie until the <laughs> of your end goals are established. Nice. That's, that was real talk, Lorenzo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, the knowledge on well, us, right. <laughs> Okay, our question. So do you um do your do you think there are some nonverbal red flags that we ignore? Oh heck yeah. <laughs> so just, just, just give us a few so the ladies that watch this show, you know, and ourselves, maybe it's something that we missing, it's something that we not, you know, pinpointing as uh, actual red flag? Um, honestly, one of my big ones and for me is that darn cell phone. If you are communicating and you are engaged in that cell phone way, way, way too much, sir, what are we doing? Um, and if you feel like you have to, and this is just in general, if you feel like you have to put that sucker in your pocket and you can't keep it right there on that table. Like what are those to me? That's a red flag. I'm mm -hmm. um, just your body gesture. If we're communicating and you know, you're, you're really not engaged and you're often, that is a red flag to me. That shows me that you, you, you don't need, you're not even desiring to be attentive to what I have to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any nonverbal red flags? Um, Yes. Yes. Not being consistent. Okay. I, I'm a big person on being consistent and being attentive. So okay. those are mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do pay attention to the phone too a lot. Like how much is he on the phone? Is he having what he doing on his phone? Like is for me the phone the phone really doesn't bother me until we like at the dinner and you just keep doing this. Oh, like, hello. And That's true. and then it's like, hold on, woman. Why am I holding on? I'm here at the dinner. I'm I'm here with you. Bless you. Thank you. I feel like it gotta come out. Like I'm here at the dinner with you. Why am I holding on? And it's just mm -hmm. like check, check, check. like that. That's a bit annoying because I feel like I'm pretty darn entertaining. I do too. And yes. I'm sure somebody else around this restaurant yes. want to sit where you sit. 
And I know for me, I'm, you know, I'm a lover, I'm a giver, I'm silly, I'm crazy, y'all. I love to have a good time, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, when you did in relationship with people like, you know, this is serious. Like, what are we doing? Like, mm -hmm. let me know. I Don't sugarcoat nothing with me. Like, give me the raw. I want it. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think they try to keep that part from us so we're not hurt or we don't make decisions that we want for ourselves. Like, mm -hmm. if you out here still, you know, slanging that thing, let me know. Right. Because I'm not interested. Yep. Yeah. That's true. And that's just, yep. I mean, so to keep themselves in good favor, they kind of leave some things out for us. Mm hmm but just tell me, please. Please do. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got a question? You got something from the audience? Uh-uh. No, something okay. popped up on my screen. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have? When you were commenting, you put up several scriptures. And uh, I just want to know, is there a specific scripture that you would give women to read that would give them strength during this time where they are trying to date intentionally or date somebody they need confirmation on or something like that? Uh, one of my favorite scriptures is in Proverbs, Proverbs 31. Um, I want to say starting at 10. Mm -hmm. And it just teaches us how to, you know, what our, our responsibility as a wife, because when we're dating, you don't want to be nobody's girlfriend forever. Our intention is to date, to be married. So it talks about, you know, um, you know, working in the field, taking care of our household, what that looks like, um, you know, being attentive and, you um, you know, and I also brought up First Corinthians uh, 13, just love is a beautiful thing and we don't want to take that for granted. So, you know, when we're in relationship, we have to make room for forgiveness because we're not perfect. We're all going to make mistakes. But do we have that compassion? Do we have that patience? Like, if I make you upset, like, how are you going to respond to me? How am I going to respond to you? So, and um, again, like I say, I'm not perfect, but I strive to do the will of God. I know that there's a call on my life. And, um, you know, I just want to be able to empower other young women, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, be okay with who you are. Be okay that, um, you know, you're getting to know yourself, know your worth. You know, you don't have to be half dressed to, to look good, you know, to each his own, but it doesn't take a lot. We're beautiful, natural, beautiful black women anyway. Mm -hmm. So just embrace who you are and be able to embrace each other. But, you know, again, Proverbs teaches us about um, Proverbs uh, 31 woman and what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I don't get this, but you answered your own statement. He won't tell you. He was talking to me. Uh, I, I, yeah, it was just a statement. It wasn't a question. Of, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know. What it was not a question. Uh, I'm guilty. I, girl. I'm all, I even answer my phone. Do, oh, God. Ashika, put the phone down. Girl, it is not that deep. Put the phone down. If you got to answer the phone during grown up time, maybe you shouldn't be doing the grown up time because what the heck? Because I don't even know where mine's at. Listen, then you bored. You need to go read a book or something. <laughs> go, go read the Bible. Proverbs 31. This is ridiculous. So, yeah. This is our next one. What else we have? Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, this was okay. So this go back to the table. Okay. All right. Um, do okay. So before the show, we know things were being said between you two that had you in a different space. <laughs> After the show or during the show, did you feel that you were the only one sitting at the table? Yeah. Okay. okay. And I was okay sitting at the table by myself because uh, you can't represent, baby. My table good. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All four legs. I'm good. Ah, so you didn't get your table off of um, Craigslist? Sure didn't. Yours was the table. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, and again, I'm confident within myself. I know what I bring to the 
table. <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> I, just really, I just really hate that that idea of what somebody brings to the table. Like I add value to the table. I don't. I ain't bringing nothing to this table. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. I'm here right, to make right. the table better. Right. I, I'm not bringing nothing. I'm not bringing no collard greens and macaroni and cheese. I'm bringing something, some plates or something. Not yeah. <laughs> add some substance, okay? Well, at the beginning of the show, Jackie did say that she is not in a committed relationship. Mm -mm. So that was the answer to that question. And Lorenzo will leave your ass in the restaurant if you want to follow. Don't leave him in the restaurant. Yes, that's rude. Don't we'll leave not him be on the while we supposed to be having our time. I don't, yeah, just don't do it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Like if you got to pick it, you know, hold on, this is my kids or something. Yeah. You know, do that quick, fast, in a hurry. But right. all this yeah. extraness. Yeah, because I, I've allocated this time to spend it with you. So do the same for me. Right. I mean, it's that, that reciprocity. I like that. I really right. like that. And that's the thing when you're limited on time as well, like capitalize on that. Because yeah. I could have been doing something else. Listen, they only giving us two days off. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind walking out. Okay. What else we got? Got a lot of questions. Which one? Um, which one? Um, are there things that we consider red flags that aren't red flags? Mm, I would have to say, um, like our own personal feelings. Like for me with uh, Dante, um, I had to take in consideration that. Um, he did not have an example of what a man should, how a man should treat a woman, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially like within the household. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, I felt like you're 41, you should have it together. You like get it together, you know, but I had to fall back and be like, you know what, and look, go deeper and just look at the circumstances like, you know what, you know, because like this, you know, stories that he shared with me of how like his certain family members, you know, dealt with women. So he felt that that was OK to do. So when you encounter me, it's like, whoa, that's how that's not what I was told to accept, you know. So, um, you know, for me, that was a red flag, but red flag. But then I had to also taking consideration of his history okay you know and then even ask him like what are you going to do moving forward you know because you desire to be a husband you desire to be in relationship like what are you willing to do okay so with 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 that comment um did you grow up did you grow up in a um dual family dual parent mm -hmm. household mm -hmm. okay okay mm -hmm. so that's i think I really think that has a lot to do with our dating practices and how, mm -hmm. and I'm not trying, y'all know me, I'm not trying to ostracize people or say that these this group of people shouldn't date this group of people, but I think it's really important to know that backstory because like, it is. you grew up in a household with your mother and father, mm -hmm. so did she. So y'all see things totally different from how I see things and I grew up in a single parent mm -hmm. household mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so you all have different expectations for men and things like that so um i just think people just start learning who you date and who you dealing with like something in a backstory it could be here in your face and you don't even realize yes. that's why it's there and it, it it's why they are the way they are and yes. sometimes they can change it sometimes they can't you know what i'm saying right. depending on what they see and what they have experienced and I think too, us women, like when we encounter situations like that, um, and even for men, because we have history, you know, that we stored aside, you know, and put deep, deep, deep. And this man is looking at us like, well, dang, like what is wrong with her? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm doing all that I can be. I'm trying to be a good man. But why is she acting like this? Mm -hmm. And it goes deeper. We can't, you know, can't just put it all on a man, you know, because we got some, we got some issues too. You know, so I just think it's important to have those conversations. And I also think it's important too, especially when it comes to a man, for us as women to lay a platform for him to be open, especially if he's like into you, you know, he's really feeling you and he's, you know, he 
want to take it to the next level, we have to lay a platform where he feels comfortable, where he feels vulnerable saying, you know what, let me open up to her. You know, I can trust her with my secret. I can trust her with my past hurt. And then you guys are able to work together. Okay. Real talk. That's true. Okay. But to Tangerine's point, how long do you let the red flag be an acceptable excuse? That's good. Mm. That's good. And do you do you have a limit on red flags? Ooh, that's real good. This <laughs> is a red flag. I know for me, just, you know, um, the, re you know, my relationship with Dante, um, the turbulence was because, you know, as women, we know what we want. And I just started shutting down. Like, if you can't meet my needs, uh, you're going to get the basic just like you giving the basic. Mm. Listen, you cannot expect extraordinary from me and you giving me the bare minimum. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. It don't work. It don't work like that, That's right? True. But then I'm like, okay, I get that, but I'm to the point where, why even be in a situation if you're not getting extraordinary? Like, I don't want to have to dumb myself down, you know, because that gets difficult. That's taxing on you when you can't be the giver, the lover that you normally are because someone isn't doing that themselves. Yeah. So it's like, why even put myself in this? Because I, I want to give more. I deserve more. I'm going to get it. Okay. So to your question, so how long is the red flag acceptable? <sighs> yeah. It ain't a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and it depends on the red flag. Yeah. Okay. Like if, if it's some small, you know what I'm saying? You can work through small. Mm -hmm. But when it's major red flags, if like, okay, we're going to take this. If I got to change who I am, that's, that's going to, it's not going to be a long time. I can't. Okay. If I see my needs are not being met, that's a red flag. I got to go. I deserve to have my needs met. This is true. We can talk about it. So this is not about to be an immediate up and leave, you know, but let's talk about it because I want you to know which needs aren't being met. And I want to see how he receives that information mm -hmm. what he does with it. He's so kind. Are you going to try to change it? Are you going to try to accommodate me? If this is something that you're not willing to do, but this is something that I need, then you know, we better off seeing each other walking down the street and saying hi. Okay. That's, that, you are good. That's soul. good. You are good what? You, you talking about immediately? Now. <laughs> right now. You out of here, buddy. You're out Get of here. Get out of here, coach. Um, No good. But it's it's a lot of different things. This computer is frozen. Okay, so what you want me to do? You want no, me to read? but I can. I gotta read from this. Hi, what is this? Which one? I I don't know what this okay. is doing. It is hard dating men who grew up in a single home when you were raised by both parents. Ooh. Yes, it can be. It's it's not always, and I'm gonna say the majority of men that I have dated have been from single household mm -hmm. some of them it, it's not always a bad thing but they may learn some things when dealing with somebody that came from two households especially because like me and my family are so tight mm -hmm. so it could be as simple as hearing about some of the stories and they're like oh well i'll try to you know some stuff they may want to step out their box because they've never seen it hmm i feel like me and they me and that grew up in um, a household with both parents, I think they're more geared towards relationships, lasting relationships. I think they know exactly what they want. And I, I'm not saying that you all are looking for your mother, but I feel like they want the same kind of connection that their parents have. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're intentionally going out there, whereas somebody that came from a single parent is just like, oh, it would have been different if, my dad was in the house. So they don't know exactly what it is they want. They just say, oh, it would have been different if it would have been like this. So they feel they can make the rules for what it's supposed to look like. And then you run into somebody else that can't grew up in a single parent household of female. And it's like, no, that ain't how it work over here. We do mm -hmm. things this way. Yeah. So it's just really, um, it's just trial and error. But I think it really just boils down to communication. Mm -hmm. 
just a, a whole lot of talking and i know that sometimes the talking can get boring but it's a whole lot of talking that you needs to happen. No, when I'm not noticing a lot of talking these days. Everybody, you, you know, the end, they, mm, mm, I need to talk. I need to see your body language. I need to, I need to see. Yeah. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. I, I, I agree with you, Jackie. I think is we have all these implied contracts and rules and things like that. And we're just kind of operating. And that we're not taking the time to have those conversations. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Greg mm -hmm. made a good point. Should red flags be accepted though? Are we accepting too much stuff that we shouldn't? So if we see a red flag, should it just be, it's over? Out of here. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say in the beginning, when you get those red flags, it's like, I'm out of here. It's so easy to leave at this age and easy to cut ties when you see stuff. I think it gets harder when you have invested time, energy, and all this kind of stuff into a relationship and you start getting red flags. You may be more accepting of them. Hmm. I think I, I agree with you. Like when we just getting to know each other, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you on this phone, yeah, I'm not about to deal with that. Peace. <laughs> But when you you've been dealing with been, something, been it's, dealing more, with, it's it's hard. Because it's hard. Where did it come from? Why is it here? Mm -hmm. You know, because or, at that point you're trying to get clarity now. You're trying to get understanding. Like, where is this coming from? Like, and you you have to be able to ask that question. Like, what are we gonna do to fix this? You know, mm -hmm. what's your game plan? Yeah. Because I'm one foot in, I'm one foot out. Yeah, and I, and it also boils down to what you want from the relationship like i i sit here i sit here as a woman that doesn't want marriage so there's no reason for me to hang around if that's what you're going to be doing because mm -hmm. i just life is life is short <laughs> life is short and the line is long and the babies is coming <laughs> younger men is popping up and they <laughs> want to help they want to do things so you know you can be out here dumb if you want to, but little Trayvon over here, he <laughs> so question. He coming to see about grandma, <laughs> Jackie. Since you are not in a committed relationship, are you open to dating? Oh, um, not right now. My heart is somewhere else. Okay. Not right now. And that that's that's respectable. And, and people, this is the type of truth you, you have to give the people out in the world. <laughs> Stop giving these men your phone number down at Shane Park because he just sat next to you. Say, sir, I'm not in that place right now, okay? Jesus, because then you end up with somebody keep texting you every morning talking to something. Good morning. How you doing? I don't even know you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> okay. So that Which was all that, of our questions. That was all of our questions. Yes. Oh, on here, do we have any more on no. there? No, we answered. We answered this one. Um, so we actually came with some questions. So I got. So I got a trick question. Uh oh. Because we got a trick question. Because you stated that we are not perfect, mm -hmm. I'm, myself included. It looks that way, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm um, <laughs> I think I'm close though. Close to yeah. it. Um. So. <laughs> Do you inform men that you encounter of your red flags, the, the concerns that you have with yourself, the bad habits that you have about yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I believe myself to be transparent, you know, because okay. I, I need you to know who I am because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I need you to know who I am. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind sharing my weaknesses. Okay. You know, because you need to know what what you're dealing with, and I want that reciprocated in return. Okay. Do you share mm -hmm. yours? Yes, I tell people all the time. I'm moody. Yep. I'm in space. Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they listen. I think they be trying to break me down. Like they might be trying to change you. Like I, I I'm gonna be the one to change. You, I'm gonna call you every day for what? She won't answer people. That phone will go on silent. It will be do not disturb people. And then you just break in anyway. Like, aha, you're going to get this message. Yeah. 
seven focuses on my phone. Schedule for three hours after each one. So one go off, another one come on. Like, Ooh. interesting. I think you know what I think. Do I communicate? My... Do you tell your bad? Do you give the people the dirt? Like I don't. Yeah, some of it. You're not about to get everything. You got to right. I don't want you to experience this bad <laughs> because it may not be bad to them. It may not be something, you know, negative in their eyes. So, you know. Myself, but we're, nobody is gonna just all uh, put everything on the line. Nicole right. told us that at the last um the last show. She said she didn't want to know all y'all negative history. Mm -hmm. And I know. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that happens over time. You yeah. know, you got to find some stuff out. Yep. So I'm not, hey, how you doing? I want you to know that I can be not a bad spoil, day. You know, even after a week. Because what people, some people may think I'm spoiled. Some people may not. I don't think I am. You don't think you are. <laughs> you think I am? And you don't tell people that you're spoiled. Sometimes it, I may, just as a joke. A joke? I don't, I don't know if I'd be serious. Because I don't think I'm spoiled. You don't. I do not. Yeah. And I, I don't. Well, I'd be doggone. I, like, I would like to be spoiled. Hmm. And you don't think you're spoiled? Maybe a smidget. Hmm. Well, I'll be dog. <laughs> this is why we having these communication issues out here in the world. Do y'all think I'm spoiled out there in the world? Please, parents, chime in. Cayenne, chime in. I so I got spoiled. Demar say, what he missed? Listen. We was talking about the show yesterday at the party. Devon was there. Oh, God. <laughs> he was ready. He said he had something to do. But as soon as he got home, he was coming in to tune in. Uh, um, yes, yes to what? Evie? You spoiled. She was spoiled last night. I would listen. I was. They you took care spoiled. of me. You are spoiled. How do you figure? Give me an I example. ain't had to figure nothing. The writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall, and it's definitely something you should share. Because when you don't get your way, baby, call in the troops. Call me. DEFCON 5. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to go. This is stupid. Fuck this shit. I am done. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Say it ain't so. Who doesn't like getting their way? Who doesn't? You tell me one person that's okay with being told no. It happens, folks. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Does it? I don't ask a question to be told no. Who asks a question to be told no? That's not spoiled. That's realistic. That's realistic. Who? Jackie, talk to me. Do you ask a question with the intent on getting a no? I need a lot of yeses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Why are some babies? I think about it. Let me work on that. I'm in <laughs> but I don't want to know. If it's and if it's a possibility that the answer can be no, I'm going to give you the heads up and say you. It's possible you can tell me no on this, but it happens. I don't like it. So I ask you a question. I always want a yes. <laughs> now I'm definitely about to put this in my memory. Right, I'm about to try this on for size. Listen, because I always it, like to give yeses. It happens. <sighs> Sometimes it's good to give a healthy no, though. <laughs> Some people need it. No, you don't ask Evie. Sometimes you gotta ask questions because I like stuff. So yesterday. Somebody had some very pretty earrings. I said, those earrings are very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I, I commented like two or three times, and they just had, like, just was so pretty. Mm -hmm. I was like, can you give me some? They said yes, and ordered them right there on the spot. They said they would be shipped to your house. I was so excited. That was a question. You, they could have told me no, because I was kind of far <laughs> out. But I'm going to ask, because closed mouths do not get fed. 
And I wanted a yes, but they could have said no, and I would have been okay. You see how this has you bothered? What? This whole question has you bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. Shut up, Tamara. Just rotten. Just oh, Demar. Wait a minute. I beat myself. I put the wrong one up. Hold on. You wanted to put Demar's up. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled children become unrealistic under death. They do. And we got to stop spoiling these kids. Just have to. Y'all spoil kids too much. Ooh. I wasn't a spoiled kid because I'm a realistic adult. And that's that. Well, now that this show has taken a turn. Well, can we get why are we talking about me? We talking about red flag. I, we was I, I said you don't tell people and you you said yeah oh that's how we got to this yeah like, i'm not telling everybody my bad stuff because i'm not about to tell you everything good either you got to see that for yourself too I want you to appreciate the goodness i just like people know what they about to get themselves into but you never they never know because each person gets a different you you think so i think people get a different me by how they treat me just like you have different relationships with people and with friends you may be nicer to some friends. You may be more standoffish, quiet. Different people get a different you. So I can't give you everything good and bad about me because you may never see it. Hmm. Dang, that was a word. Did y'all write that down? No. Different people get a different <laughs> you. So, uh, spoiled is a red flag. That is. I don't want to deal with somebody that's real spoiled. I'm spoiled. I don't know why you're not holding me. All right, let's end this show because this is taking the wrong turn. It is 327, and we have gotten off of red flags. Well, I guess <laughs> being spoiled is a red flag. Red flag. People, do not be spoiled of it. Don't be spoiled. Well, Jackie, we enjoyed having you on yes, the show. Yes, thank you. Thank you for coming to share um, your experience, share some knowledge with us, and... Um, I, I learned quite a bit. I, I learned quite a bit today. And we are going to, you know, whenever you're ready to get back in the dating pool, we we may have some suitors for you. Okay? So remember that. What? I'll never be trying to hook nobody up. I'm always trying to hook people. I, I like black love. I know you do. So, you know, and it was a question was asked in the audience. Okay, I missed so that's what I mean, she said, Lorenzo said. Was she dating? Oh, okay. That is, she open to, is she open to dating? Okay. So, if she changes her mind and say, hey, I want to get back out there, she <laughs> want to go to Lorenzo's inbox and say, oh, I'm back. Oh, she not. You guys are silly. <laughs> Guess who's back? Guess Jackie who's not back? sliding her mind's inbox. You know, Jackie makes these sliding inboxes, Jackie. Have you ever? No, I haven't. <laughs> Should. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't don't Jack. Don't do it, Jackie. Don't do it. Just be like, don't do it. Hey. <laughs> don't do it. No. No. <laughs> no. I cannot. Just, just put it like, oh, that was so funny. Yeah, so funny. Thanks for tuning in. That's how you gotta say stuff. Like that. <laughs> she like, hey, if you try, let me know. I will tell them why. <laughs> Tell me how it was. Just don't, don't, don't count it out. You never know. You never know. Bless your heart. So, oh, she said she's going to stay and work it out with that guy. Oh, <laughs> she's not leaving. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. The day is young, it's and it's yes, it's hot outside. <laughs> I done got some life in me with all this water I done had. I'm feeling the lab. I go put on my lashes and I think I'm about to step out. No, she not. I'm not <laughs> so, right now. I'm still on the birthday weekend. You are. This is true. So, we thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. Uh, thank you, Jackie, for being on here. Thank you so uh, much for having me. Oh, no problem. Thank you for, you know, being willing to tell your story and to open up. You know, sometimes it's hard for people to get personal. So we appreciate you getting uh, personal with us. Thank you. We got the best audience people, friends out there that watch us all the time and yeah. ask questions. So we appreciate y'all. Um, anything else? No, no, no. 
Two weeks, we'll be back. Two weeks. We'll so, be back. Next week, enjoy your fourth. Um, it's the next week. The first oh, Friday. Yeah, sure is. So we'll be back. Not the. We'll be back month. on the ninth. Yeah, we'll be back on the ninth. So every two weeks, we'll be coming to y'all. Still, let us know if you all have any topics you want us to cover. If you want to be a guest on the show, um, if you want to be a sponsor, because we couldn't go to commercial break two weeks ago because we didn't have a sponsor. So. <laughs> When I rewatched it, you still said that. Oh, it did. Yes, I can't drink. go to commercial. We don't have no sponsors. I was, dr- I was drinking. Yes, and we didn't drink today. We did not. We didn't so hydrate, people. Yes. Hot out there. So we love y'all. Thank y'all. Everybody have a good one and enjoy this weather. All right. It's still my birthday weekend. You see me out in public? Don't take a picture. See you guys. Bye. We'll see you. <laughs>